Fire in the pipes. Good day, everyone. It is Thursday, January 25th current situation is I have a belt ordered. We'll see if it fits, hopefully. It's, uh, I went from like a 59 and a half inch belt to like a 61 and an eighth or 16th. So hopefully that other inch will help me get it over the pulley. If not, I'm about to order another belt, which won't be here till tomorrow, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll see if we can't make it happen. And uh, I got some injector clips ordered. I think everything should be coming together today. I should be able to get the car started tonight if I can get the belt on it. I can always start it without the belt, but uh, it'd be nice to be charging the battery if I get the serpentine on there. I can always take the serpentine back off and throw the supercharger belt on later. But getting close, getting close. Last night I almost reached a breaking point. Today I'm... <laughs> I got one workout done. I still need to get another done today. We got to pick up a trailer. We got to go to guys night, which is a fun thing we do at my buddy Brian's house every Thursday night with a bunch of guys. And we all get together and watch YouTube videos, talk shop, and one of us takes turns cooking dinner. But all right, fresh reset Thursday, day number 40 on 75 hard, which is crazy, crazy. I think my last record, I got to like day 62 and then we had that monster hurricane in Florida and I, made an excuse and I didn't get my outside workout in when I, I could have worked out on the back patio but I didn't so I am going to complete it this time 100% now I am really struggling with the daily YouTube videos at this point it's so much work hours of filming and editing and uploading but we'll get her done I'm, I'm gonna push it as hard as I can I got some some good content for you guys this weekend even if I don't get the car done but if I do, we're gonna have some fun with it in Orlando. For all you sick weekers out there, I am not gonna be on sick week. I chose to stay this year and work because every time I leave my office for a week, nobody else is there working and it's a big hit. And I took a week off in December for helicopter training at MD and then I took a week off in November to go get the Thailand Longtail Riverboat. So taking off another week in the late January, early February is just not gonna happen. It's too detrimental in my practice. It's a lot of lost revenue and it, it really hurts us financially. So, you know, when I'm at this early stages of owning a practice and paying down debt, those are the sacrifices I have to make. And luckily I've been able to make some great memories over the past couple years doing Sick Week. But this year, we're gonna have to miss it, unfortunately. But I'm just getting ready to pull up to the office here. We got a day full of surgeries and exams. Lots of computer design, lots of 3D printing. I'll give you guys another tour for any of the new watchers of what I do and where I work and my practice. It's a pretty cool niche spot. And the 3D printing stuff has just been so cool and the design aspect of it as well. So I'll show you guys, I'm pulling up to my office right here. Here she is, old Venice Implant Dentistry and Laser. Love this spot. Kind of crazy, this building is actually 101 years old. And yes, it's pink, but it's also a historic building in Venice. So if I want to change the color of the building, I got to go to the historic board. And honestly, I, the pink's kind of grown on me. I really don't mind it all that much. So patients like it too. It's kind of a classy little niche building instead of going to like some crazy big doctor's building. But all right, let's get to work. All right guys, I'm a little proud of this project I've been working on. I think I've showed you in videos before, but this is kind of like what an old school denture looks like, right? It's kind of like what your, your grandparents would have. And I have been teaching myself how to 3D print teeth in dentures and then add the gums and the coloring to the teeth as well. So this is a denture that I just finished up that we're gonna deliver on Monday. I think it came out pretty sweet. The detail that you can get with 3D printing on the computer in your design and then layering on the gums with composite and light carrying it with different shades, the attention to detail in the product is just so much cleaner. I mean, look at this. <clears throat> I 
This is like an old school product, and this is new school. Big difference. I have my camera gal here. Hey. You ready to start this thing? Yeah. Can you just not make it as loud? <laughs> I'll make it as loud. It is a loud car. All right, everyone. We got the blower hat on. We got the fuel lines hooked up. I was able to eclipse at O'Reilly's. Also, again, shout out to the boys at SNS Motorsports. They are getting me dialed in this week with, with the old Hellcat. But it is time to finally start this thing. I was able to find a belt. I got the serpentine back on. Obviously, I got to put all the wiring away, do a bunch of zip ties, and uh, run some breather hoses and stuff like that. But I gotta see if this thing starts because it's just been weighing on me and I've been losing sleep over it and it's time. It's finally time. So I'm gonna give the camera to Caroline. Got a new battery in it because we've been having some serious battery issues. But first thing I gotta do is do a TPS auto set on this thing. Okay. Yep. It's opening. Yes, it's opening. Right, I'm still gonna run the, the diagnostic thing on the time. <sighs> it never starts the first time when you're on camera. But I mean, it's all plug and play, like, I don't see why it wouldn't. All right, ready? Fire in the pipes. That thing sounds, I can just hear it whining when it's idling. The other one was not as loud. I don't know if it's just because we had a big pulley on it or what, but. Nah, yeah, my hand's all dirty. Cool, okay. So we got a running car. It definitely needs to be tuned before this weekend, but ahead. I need to do some, oh. Winston? He was scared he went inside, I saw him. Winston, come here, come on. Can we do this again? Who's a good boy? He's so Wait, camera so shy. Cute. No, he's so camera shy. Look, 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 look. You're so handsome. Yeah, he is. He's a handsome boy. Mwah. Handsome boy. Okay. Thank you. All right, so like I said earlier, we got to run intercooler piping. We got to run breather tubes. We got to button up all the wiring. Got to get a fresh tune on her, put some fluids in it, and we'll be ready to send for this weekend. Wow. A lot of stress. Just Did quickly. Did you notice your hat fits differently? Does it? Because I washed got... it because I couldn't take oh, it Oh, you anymore. wash it? Okay, thank you. Yeah, I know. These things get real he dirty. He wears the same hat every single day <laughs> and the same underwear. Yeah, it's true. True. It's they gross. have so many holes in them. I basically should just be wearing nothing. Nasty. All right. That's it for the old Hellcat startup. So how long do you think this is going to take? Uh, I probably have another hour to work on it, and then I got to work out, and then guys' night because I got to go get a trailer. What? Yeah. I thought it was gonna be another like six hours working on this, and then like hang out with Caroline. It's guys' night Thursday night. It's Parker night every night. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. It's Parker night every night while I'm doing 75 hard. That's for sure. It's uh, it's really been wearing on our relationship. I'll be honest. And I think you know this. Thing, <laughs> I come think you guys actually know that. February twenty uh, ninth is day seventy five, and March first. I'm gonna when definitely take a little break. Out. I know. All right. But that's okay. Let's grind it out. Only that's really later. a month left. It's January twenty fifth. Is it really? Yeah. Well, our sacrifices now will reap the rewards on later. Can't wait for March. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too. No, it's good. It's good. Now you get, I'm ready we, to look you up. <laughs> now you're going to really look me up. He's Octavio. He's my uh, FedEx driver, dude. How you doing, guys? Appreciate you always getting my stuff here on time, time, man. <laughs> He's admiring the Hellcat work we oh, got yeah. going down. So, hey, man, we'll see you around. Thanks for stopping Thank by. Thank you. Thank you for letting me check it out. All right, later, man.
Shoe buddy, do I think that I could get this car done today, but it's not gonna happen. Pretty much all we have left is to add water to the intercooler here, add water to the radiator here, some power steering fluid, get a hot tune in it, and then she is ready to rip. I'm gonna head over to guys night and get my workout in for today, edit, upload. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment, and we'll see you tomorrow. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.